Hi, it's Rod. And this one's called God's Meaning of Life. So one of the biggest questions people have is, what is the meaning of this life? And they need to ask God what the meaning of life is and get an answer back. So I was thinking about that question this morning. What is life about God? And these are some of the answers I got back from God. Well, life is about a creator. It's like this book is like uh, the meaning of life, God's meaning of life book. You look at here and let God teach you about, the creator teach you about what it's about, what life's about. Well, it's about God creating humans because he has a purpose for doing that. He likes to do that. So it's like you go back to the story of Adam and Eve, God forming man, then you get into man deciding whether he wants to be a friend of his creator or not, and then you got this enemy, Satan, trying to deceive Adam and Eve and try to get them to be God's enemy instead of his friend. So when I was thinking about what the meaning of life is, what life is about, I was thinking about, well, it's God creating humans, and we're born onto this earth, and then life is about trying to learn things, uh, whether it's your parents as your teachers, or your school teachers, or friends or other influences in the world, bosses at work teachers, could be church teachers. So we were born on this earth to learn things. And uh, it's like there's three kinds of people on the earth. There's uh, the unsaved, the godless. There's the disobedient to God Christians. And then there's the obedient to God Christians. Three kinds of people. And we are making choices. What life is about is making choices. Trying to figure out what God's best choices are for us. Or not finding that stuff out. <laughs> Just believing what Satan, Satan's like a teacher. He'll teach you lies or whatever. Teach you the, the wrong meaning of life. Teach you the wrong way to do stuff. So one understanding of what life's about is it's like a spiritual war. See, if you let your creator teach you what life's about, you'll understand what life's about. He'll tell you to come into his, read his manual, the meaning of life, God's meaning of life manual. And you'll find out there's a spiritual war. You'll find out there's a God. You'll find out that uh, your sins separate you from God and you need to get saved through his son Jesus' cross. You'll understand what life's about if you obey God to read his Bible and let him teach you in a prayerful way what life is really about, the meaning, his meaning of life. So we're born into this world, we got different teachers. Um, we can go from humans to God teaching us if we want to. <laughs> or we could stay with the human beings teaching us stuff and they don't know much. We need to make God our teacher, our truth teacher. Then we'll understand the meaning of life, what life's really about. So it's about being born into these little sort of like babies that grow up and go to school or something and try to learn things from their parents or school teachers or churches. If at some point they start to believe in God and believe that they can get saved through His Son Jesus as His cross, they can start to have a relationship with God. They can start to read His The Meaning of Life Manual Bible. <laughs> they can start to understand the meaning of life, what life's really about and uh, be more successful God's way. Try to understand what God wants for his creation. Try to do that. And then become a more successful creation, the obedient to God Christian, not the disobedient to God Christian that could apostatize and fall away from their faith in God, and not the godless person, the unsaved person, just living on earth for selfish pleasure with Satan and going to hell forever. <laughs>
So the meaning of life is learning things. The meaning of life is making choices. We are born to this world with needs. We need food. We need clothing. We need provision. We need relationships with other people, parents, and teachers, and churches, and human beings. And then we're in this world, and it's like we're relating to three different kinds of people. We're relating, if we're saved, well, we could be the saved, obedient to God Christian. But we could be in a world with disobedient to God Christians and godless people. And so we got to relate to these godless people. They're sort of like demon-controlled people. And the disobedient to God Christians, they're sort of like demon-controlled people. But the obedient to God Christians could be Jesus-controlled people. These people could be trying to follow Satan and look for their happiness from the things of the world and not being very happy. This person, the obedient to God Christian, can be getting their happiness from God and being very happy today. The fullness of joy in their God's presence. They have hope, the obedient to God Christian people. They found the happiness they're looking for from God spiritually. They understand they're in a spiritual warfare. They resist Satan. They win in their spiritual war. The disobedient to God Christians aren't winning their spiritual war. They're mostly demon controlled, and the godless people aren't winning any spiritual war. They're demon controlled. We got to live in a demon controlled world, but it doesn't have to bother us. It's supposed to be that way. Before I was saved, I was demon controlled. But once I got saved through the cross of Jesus Christ, and once I learned the truth about spiritual warfare. <laughs> And started resisting the devil's lying voice about what the meaning of life is or how to live successfully or how to be happy. I started living successfully and being happy as one of the, th the third kind of person, the obedient to God, Jesus-controlled Christian or whatever. So the meaning of life is there's three kinds of people on the planet. The meaning of life is if you can get saved and you can get a good relationship with God going and... Ask them questions, get answers back. What is the meaning of this God? What is life really about? Well, life is really about being born. It's If your parents didn't teach you about God, maybe you can get saved and start learning about God later on in life if you want to. Everybody's making their own free will choices. Parents, churches, Christians, godless people, disobedient to God Christians, obedient to God Christians, all making choices creates this world we're living in. Choice, we got like, a lot of times we only got two choices. We got believe truth or believe lies, get saved or don't get saved, obey God or don't obey God, win your spiritual war or lose your spiritual war, go to heaven or go to hell. So life is about making choices. Trying to find out what are God's best choices for us. We only got two choices most of the time. Friend of God, enemy of God, saved, unsaved, joyful, depressed, lies, truth. So the meaning of life is that God creates human beings. I was born into this world. My parents weren't Christian teaching me anything about Christianity much. The churches didn't teach me a whole lot about Christianity either. But I did get saved when I was around 25, and I, God taught me what I needed to know by myself, <laughs> read his Bible, let them teach me truth. To the point where I'm about 60 years old now, and uh, I'm trying to record some of my truth that I understand onto video, so that if I meet people that want to learn this stuff in the future, <laughs> or if people want to try to learn it by putting them up on YouTube, then... Maybe they can learn something from these videos about what God's taught me is the meaning of life or the truth God's taught me. I always try to want to know the truth about everything. What's the truth about everything? God tell me the truth about everything. And this is what I have learned to believe. That uh, there is a God. He is a creator. He made human beings. Their life is filled with choices, good or bad, successful or failure. And then there's like a judgment day on how, what we decided to choose. Be God's friend or God's enemy, get saved or don't get saved. And that's what's happening right now. 
people are making decisions. You usually got two choices. To believe in God or not believe in God. To believe he's good or not believe he's good. To follow Jesus or to follow Satan. And they're the, the product of their choices. Get your joy from God's presence or try to get it from the world. Jesus' way or Satan's way. God's trying to teach us truth, what life's really about. Satan's trying to lie to us and teach us lies, what life is not about. And we decide, am I going to listen to God the truth teacher or Satan the lie teacher? It'd be nice if our parents were Christians teaching us God's meaning of life from an early age and trying to teach us how to make God's best choices for us. So we could be successful people today. But if that, that didn't happen, well, you can always get saved now and try to let God start teaching you the truth about what life's about and how to live it successfully and uh, start getting into this book with God teaching you things from it. And learn God's meaning of life. Learn God's way to success. So that's basically what God's meaning of life is, he's a creator, he likes to create human beings, they have choices whether they want to be his friend or his enemy, his child or Satan's child, you only got two choices. If you're not God's child, you're Satan's child. If you don't believe truth, you believe lies. If you don't believe in God, you doubt in God. And trying to find out that God's best choice for us, his best choice Truth, not lies. Salvation, not, I don't need to get saved. Studying his meaning of life manual, not neglecting it. Bible study, prayer, worship, truth teaching, truth learning. These are God's best choices for his creation. God, best choice manual. <laughs> Get saved and obey. Get your happiness from God's presence spiritually, not from the things of the world. So God's meaning of life is he wants to create human being creations. God's meaning of life is that he wants them to make his best choices for their life. And we're all deciding, like Jesus said, only a few enter the kingdom of heaven. There's not too many people choosing God's best choices for them. You got to live in a world sort of like Noah. You're having a good close relationship with God. Nobody else around you seems to be doing it. And uh, you just got to watch him get punished by God at the right time in the right way. And have God help you through it like a Noah. So because people have made choices to be very wicked today and are getting wickeder by the moment. It's like technology advances and doubles every two years while well, wickedness increases and doubles about every two years until the judgment hits. And then maybe some people will come to their senses when they enter into the judgment of God for their sins. Like the lukewarm, disobedient to God church will just kind of apostatize. They don't have much faith in God now. When trouble hits, Satan will snatch whatever faith they still had away from them, like a parable of the sower. But if you've got a strong faith in God, if you're letting God prepare you for what's coming in the judgment to come, then you can be like a no one handle it all. Everybody could be sick of and dying around you, but God's miraculously helping you through it. It's like the Christian's going through the tribulation period or something. God can help them through it in a miraculous way. It's like when I ask God, what does my future look like? It looks like uh, sickness, poverty, and death to the wicked, and him helping me to preach and do miracles in the midst of it to try to get a few people saved and maybe start to do church and homes like the Book of Acts or something in very hard times. Great tribulation times. So God's meaning of life is that he's a creator. He created us. We have free will choice to get saved and become his children, his friend, to obey him, to understand spiritual warfare and win it, to try to learn truth and teach truth to others, like a Paul or a Jesus, and to be like a prophet sometimes, telling people they need to repent of their sins, else they'll perish, but they don't listen to you and they just perish, like a Noah. But you can be a happy Noah. 
with Jesus, your best friend with you, on the ark. So that's what God's telling us the meaning of life is. He's a creator. Like Adam and Eve, he wanted to create human beings. He wanted to give them free will choice. They're making their free will decisions now. Most are not saved. Most are pretty wicked. A few are saved and trying to be Jesus followers, not demon followers, obedient to God Christians. Other people are choosing to be lukewarm Christians in danger of falling away at any time when trouble hits. But when trouble hits, maybe some of these lukewarm Christians will get hot or something, and then you'll know who the real Christians are when the trouble hits. But for now, they all seem to want to just be lukewarm and in danger of apostasy, and that's okay. You just do what God's telling you to do. Who cares what other people are choosing to do? You don't have to let wicked land bother you. When you got your best friend, King of the Universe, Jesus, with you all the time. So it's about decisions, choices. Do you want to be God's friend or God's enemy? Do you want to go to heaven or go to hell? Do you want to act loving or selfish? And uh, if you want to get saved through the cross of Jesus Christ, if you want to get into God's success manual or the meaning of life manual, you can understand these things. And you just don't have to try to figure it out yourself. God can help you to understand this stuff. Asking God the question, what's life really about? God getting an answer back. It's about human creations making choices. It's about... You need to choose God's best choices for you, not Satan's worst choices for you. Then you eventually die from this earth. And then you can come to some judgment day with God, and he can look at your life and say, was this guy my friend or my enemy? Did they, he do anything good to be rewarded or not? And if you believe in Jesus to take your sins away on the cross, you get into heaven. <laughs> Whether you get any good rewards for good works in heaven that's up to you whether you want to make god's best choices for your life do good works and then get rewarded for them later so life is about being born on this earth it's about a learning experience uh, when you start to get saved and let god teach you truth then you can understand this life more then you can pray hear god's voice and try to do his will in the earth which is like learning truth and teaching truth to others and then you can die and be judged for it. Then you can live in paradise forever with the king of the universe as your husband. That's God's meaning of life. That's what life is really about. Choices to get saved and be God's friend and go to heaven and marry Jesus forever in paradise. Or to believe Satan's lies and not understand the meaning of life and think you're just an animal doing selfish things for yourself to make yourself happy and then you die and you go to hell forever. It's like most people are like a rich man going to hell today. They're just seeking after riches. They couldn't care less about God. And when they drop dead, it's hell time forever, which could be any time. They could drop dead by supper time and be in hell forever today. And we got to try to tell them they need to get saved. Hell is real. But they don't want to listen to us. Then they drop dead and they go to hell. But that shouldn't bother us. God's given us all a free will choice and we decide. Two choices, heaven or hell, salvation or not get saved. Obey or not obey God. Get great rewards on Judgment Day or not very many rewards on Judgment Day. So that's what God tells me is the meaning of life. It is making human creations, giving them free will choice. They can decide to become saved and become his friend and obey him or not get saved, don't become his friend, don't obey him. They can choose to go to heaven after they die or hell after they die. They can choose to be full of love, joy, and peace from the Holy Spirit in God's presence now or choose to be depressed, trying to find their happiness from the things of the world with Satan. And we're in this life experience now, making our choices now. Are we saved yet or not? Are we happy yet or not? Are we on our way to a great judgment day and a great wedding with Jesus after we die or not? And uh, so I was born on earth. I'm a, I've been alive for 60 years. I've tried to learn to get saved by God and obey him. And when the judgment hits, maybe I'll find people like myself who want to do church more biblically. <laughs> And then eventually die someday and get judged on how much I love God, how much I obey God here on earth. That's basically what I understand 
what God's meaning of life is about. So that's a bit about God's meaning of life.